Hey everyone, DA Source here. Uh, okay, in today's uh, video, I'm gonna get a little bit more into detail with the GarageBand. Uh, when you first open up GarageBand, this will be the actual screen that you see. Um, as you can see, is that there's a default setting that the Grand Piano track will be the first one that's selected for you, which is not a problem. You know, it's okay. You you can work with it. Okay, what you want to do is you want to go to this icon right here. I call it the eye icon. When you hit it, uh, you can see a pop-up. And these right here are all the samples that are given to you through uh, GarageBand. So, for instance, let's just play with one. Uh, you go to Beats. And if you click on Club Dance Beat 01. So, you know, that's how it is. You can click it, you can hear it before you select it. So, um, back to the beat that I made. The first thing I did was I did use a piano track as my first one. Uh, I chose the piano through the acoustic. Um, I believe it was the emotional piano three. Let me check. Sounds right. Okay, all you have to do is grab it and drag it into here. That's it. Now, there's two ways as far as uh, duplicating uh, this piano track. You can either grab it again and drag it here and move it there. Or you can grab this red cursor, move it to where the last uh, dragon you just put and leave it there. And hit Apple C to copy and Apple B to paste. Okay, all you have to do is hit the return so that the red cursor goes back to the beginning and hit spacebar to hear the piano sample. Okay, it looks to be working fine. Here's the uh, volume control. Let me go ahead and turn it up a little bit. The piano is always a little bit lower than when the beat drops in so you always want to put the uh, volume of the piano a little bit louder okay now what we want to do is we want to add a beat so you hit reset to clear out the menu uh, you go to track and you can select new basic track and as you can see it pops up we go ahead and turn up the volume a little bit and you can go to kits you can go down And I believe the beat that I chose was a simple funk. Let me double check. I'm not too sure if that's the one, but it sounds close enough. Okay. All you have to do is, same thing, drag it into the new track that you have selected. And there you go. Now, you can do it the same way. Drag another one into here. Or, move the cursor. And use the shortcut keys. Okay, now you hit return and let's see what happens. Sounds good. Okay, if I remember correctly, the beat that I made, uh, I believe I did the piano one more time. So all you have to do is highlight it and do the shortcut. And I also did the beat one more time. Let's see. sounds pretty good to me. I don't know if it's the exact uh, samples that I chose 
uh, from the beat that I made, but it's close enough. So as you can see, GarageBand, it's a very fun program. It's just drag and drop. All the samples are given to you. I mean, you're limited to the samples that are given to you by GarageBand. But like we said, it's a very basic program, uh, something for you to just play around with at home and, uh, you know, have some fun with it. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here today. Uh, the next couple of videos, you'll see me get further into the beat, and I will show you a couple more tricks uh, to using GarageBand. Talk to you soon.